Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ, back with another tip of the day. Now, due to current events, many DJs have taken up live streaming to different social media networks in order to keep connected with their audience and also stay fresh with their music selections and mixing skills. Now, you might already know that Virtual DJ can directly connect your live stream to many popular services, but what you might not know is that Virtual DJ can also allow you to control multiple cameras or visual sources that use a camera output API so you can switch to different views, other angles, or different video signals all at the click of a mouse. This allows you to be more creative with your live stream and add more excitement to your video broadcast. Here's how to do it. First, find a video track and load it into a deck. This will enable the video engine and activate the video output. Now click on the video tab in the center mixer section of the skin for access to the video controls. Now the magic of using multiple cameras or other camera APIs is all in using Virtual DJ's video skin technology. So we need to load up a video skin that has these features. To do this, click on the settings button and click on the interface tab. Now at the bottom of this window is the video skin selection area. As you can see, I have quite a few video skins to choose from, but the one I'm looking for is the Broadcaster GFX video skin. Simply click on this to activate it and you'll see it load up on your video output. You can now click on the X and exit out of the settings area. If you take a closer look at this video skin, you will see it has many of the popular features needed for live streaming, including a primary video window, a camera view window, a text bar area for track title and artist or other messages, and a placeholder for all of your social media channels, all of which are configurable by using some simple VDJ script. If you press play on a deck, you'll see your deck's video play in the video window. Now let's enable the camera feed by clicking on the video effects drop down box and click on the gear icon to show the camera plugins options window. Now you can enable the camera feed by clicking on this button here. Once enabled, the currently selected camera feed will appear in the camera feed window in the video skin. Now the camera plugin allows you to easily switch to other camera or video feeds that are currently connected to your machine. Now if you're thinking that you don't have another webcam available and you need to run out and buy one, well, you already have one sitting in your pocket. If you have a smartphone, then you have another camera available. Open the Apple App Store or Google Play Store and search for webcam apps to download and install. Now I chose this app based on it being compatible with both PC and Mac. Then, go to the developer website and install the app driver on your computer. The driver will now allow your phone to send video directly to your computer over Wi-Fi. Back in Virtual DJ in the camera plugin window, use the camera selection knob to easily switch to the webcam app which is running on your phone. Now, your audience can have an up-close view of your gear and for you to show off your mixing skills. You can also set Virtual DJ to automatically switch your camera views by changing the camera swap option from manual to a time interval in seconds. Other controls available in the camera plugin are a zoom control, a chroma key control if you're using green screens, and also image opacity controls. Now this video skin also features different viewing layouts for the video and camera windows. Now to change layouts, simply select the special GFX pad bank in the DEX performance pads area. Now there are four different layouts that you can switch to using the upper four pads in this bank. And you can also swap the windows by clicking on the swap pad, and clicking on the cycle pad will set Virtual DJ to automatically cycle between the four layouts about every 45 seconds. Now also available is a two times cam pad where you can have your audience view both of your camera feeds at the same time. And finally, for a little extra flavor, you can enable the slideshow plugin, and if you have it set to a folder of ambient video, it will display in the background of this video skin. As you can see, Virtual DJ has all the cool features built in to make your video broadcasting easy and fun, so you don't need to be worrying about messing around to configure a few different software packages to work together. That'll do it for this tip of the day. We hope you found it helpful. If you have an idea for our next tip, email tipoftheday at virtualdj.com.